This is a GPD Win5 optimization guide video in which I will show you guys the top three settings you should change when you first get your GPD Win5. This one has the Ryzen AI Max 395 processor with 32 gigabytes of RAM and 2 terabytes of storage. There are three tips I will show you in this video. The first one is TDPs, the second one is radion image sharpening and finally i will show you how to minimize fan noise because by default the fans do get very loud the first thing you want to do when you get your gpd win 5 is to double click on the motion assistant software click on yes and you will be presented with this screen now there are a few things you should change the most important thing is the TDP so on the left here you can see AC TDP and DC TDP so AC refers to the power connected and DC refers to the power detached so when you're running on battery so right now I'm running on battery and as you can see by default the DC TDP is selected I can't select the AC TDP now because there's no power however when you connect the power the AC TDP will highlight now what you want to do here is that you want to select the correct TDPs for both of these modes so for DC mode in other words the battery mode you want to select the correct TDPs so by default they have chosen 15 watts for the DC which is quite low so what you want to do is you want to click on here and then write down your own number so what I will do is I will put 35 watts because I think on battery 35 watts is very nice however if you just want maximum performance and you don't care about battery life then I would say go for 45 watts but you should not go more than 45 watts so on battery I w personally I use 35 watts maximum you can go up to 45 watts but personally I think 35 watts on battery gives me more than good enough performance on AC TDP I like to set it at 65 watts however you can go up to 75 watts that's totally up to you but i don't think there is going to be much of a benefit going that high so i just leave 65 watts for ac and 35 for dc so now that these values has been set let's go ahead and launch a game so with the correct tdp selected i'm running chronos the new dawn and as you can see by default it will use a maximum of 35 watts because in the motion assistant app the DC TDP is 35 watts so it will not use more than 35 watts and yeah it will use the maximum 35 watts to give you the best FPS for the particular game so this game as you can see is not gonna go more than 120 FPS because the screen is 120 Hertz and I think this game is capped at 120 FPS. So now let's see what happens if I connect the power supply and see what happens to the TDP. So. So when I connect the power supply, as you guys can see, the TDP will automatically go up to 65 Watts. Because remember in the motion assistance software the AC TDP was set to 65 watts. So now every time I plug the power supply in it will go ahead and use up to 65 watts on the charger. So once these values has been set you don't need to like keep going back to change the TDP. Now I will unplug the power supply and it should go back to 35 watts. So as you guys can see it is dropping. Now unfortunately it looks like it is stuck at 45 watts. It's not going below, well, 43.8, 44.8. Basically what happens is when you unplug the power supply, the even though you set it to 35 watts, it will stick to around 45 watts, which is more than you need. Even 35 watts for this game is way too much. So one way to fix this issue is to open the motion assistant software and make sure that the auto limit TDP option 
is selected because right now it's not selected so I'm just gonna select the auto limit TDP and this should as you guys can see it has already optimized the TDP to 35 watts so make sure that this option right here is always selected because this will auto limit the TDP and you don't have to like go back to it manually so now I'm getting the same FPS as before however I'm getting much lower TDP for the second tip AMD Radeon image sharpening is a very good tool to use this is one of the first things that I always do when I get any PC handheld if it's running AMD I always open the AMD software and in here what I do is go to gaming and then scroll all the way down where you can see Radeon image sharpening by default this option is always turned off so what you want to do is make sure you turn it on and I usually keep it at a hundred percent so now every game that I run will look much sharper even though this game is running at 720p it actually looks very very sharp and it actually looks like it's running at 1080p so that's a really good benefit of using RIS because RIS Radeon image sharpening it sharpens the game to make it look like it's running at a higher resolution so this is with RIS on now what I will do is to show you guys the difference is I'll just go back to the software and turn RIS off show you guys you know what it looks like so radeon image sharpening has been turned off as you guys can see and this is what the game looks like it, it does look a bit blurry so what i will do now is if you guys look at this part of the screen i will turn image sharpening on now i can see it's much sharper now because it's on and i'll turn it off and it's definitely much blurrier if you look at the wall and the character and the painting just look at this area here it's looking a bit blurry now because it's off and now it's so much sharper so make sure that especially if you're running at lower resolutions make sure this option is always turned on because this does not affect performance at all so if you're thinking that this will affect your performance you don't have to worry because this will not affect the performance it will just make the image look much much better so always leave this on for every single game to get the maximum sharpness the third tip is about the fan speed the fan noise let me turn the volume down so you can hear the fans so by default when you get the GPD Win 5 the enable fan speed option is not selected and by default the fans do get quite loud especially at high TDPs right now I'm running at 35 watts so let me go ahead and increase it to about 45 watts so at 45 watts TDP I can definitely hear the fans from the distance that I'm sitting at the temperatures are about 60 two degrees six well it's going up now about 60 degrees going up to about 65 degrees and the fans are definitely audible so i'll just put the microphone next to the fans so the fans at 45 watts are quite loud and personally i don't like the fan noise so what i do is i will open the motion assistant software and then I will click on enable fan speed and then I have my own custom fan curve so I have chosen 20 at 45 40 at 60 60 at 70 and 80 at 80 so these numbers represent the fan speed percentages so with these custom values the fans will be much much quieter with not that much effect on the temperatures so right now with these custom values i can tell you the fans are so much quieter you know and the temperature look the temperature is still around 67 maybe going up to about 70 but mostly it's like 
under 70 degrees celsius which is amazing so now with these custom fan curve values you are getting much much quieter fans which to me makes a very big difference especially when you're playing in the night and there's people around you so make sure you guys enable the fan speed and use either these or similar number to these so this way you will get the quietest fans without much of an effect on the temperatures the cooling by the way guys on the gpd win 5 is much better than expected so you can definitely get away with you know using custom values like i have done in this video so that's it for this video guys make sure you like and subscribe and comment down below and let me know if you want more tips thanks for watching and i'll catch you in the next one